Hi everybody, this is Lance. Thanks for checking out the video and thanks for all your support, the, the uh, likes, shares, and uh, subscriptions, and comments. So this is a five minute tutorial or just a five minute time lapse on Northern Lights. And I'm explaining here how I put black canvas, added some liquid clear, liquid medium, clear medium to make it slick. I put phthalo green, phthalo blue, Prussian blue, and maybe some crimson on the, on the, on the palette, on the canvas, because they're all, um, uh, they're all uh, transparent, and then here what you're seeing is the curtains, and all I've done there is added white to a fan brush and made some lines, and now I'm pulling up, just pulling up with uh, a one-inch brush, just grabbing the tops and, and pulling them straight up as close as I can. Sometimes I get them crooked, but and the next thing I'm going to do is come in with a bigger brush and just pull all the way through them from the bottom up. I try not to get too much paint below the curtains because I think it looks better without it. Keeps the more dark under them, which is cool. You can do it if you want, though. Now I'm making a mountain, and there's probably black, Prussian blue, and some crimson in there. And of course it's dark, so you can see it really contrasts over the bottom middle of the northern lights there. Okay, now I'm just adding in a little more touching them up okay get the mountain kind of however you want it scraping off the extra and i'm going to come in with some white and, and it probably works better if you add a little bit of blue to that white tiny bit so it's not pure white i think i might have had a little on there but it still stands out good but it's kind of and i'm just grabbing with a little roll on the palette knife and then i'm just pulling them down and as you get more towards the bottom of the mountain you want them to flatten out that's a pretty good looking mountain. Three Little Peaks is easy to paint on mountains if you're a beginner. Okay, on the shadow side, I'm just adding some blue to it. Prussian blue probably and white. A little more blue. And you can see the, you know, reflective light. So it kind of stands out there. These Northern Lights paintings are very easy. And uh, they're very sellable if you want to sell paintings. <laughs> you probably make a living doing these because they're just simple. This one took me 30 minutes. Well, the prep time takes a little longer, you know, painting the canvas and stuff. And I'm just blending out the bottom here with the palette. Because you want the bottom to be kind of blurry or misty. And then it kind of makes the mountain look better. It pushes it back. Okay, I'm throwing another another curtain in there. Then on the left of the mountain, I just put some hints of some distant curtains. And that, I thought that looked pretty good in this painting. <laughs> now I'm just adding in some dirty blue. It's probably phthalo, Prussian blue, darker blue filling that in. I might just use some white because the bottom was all full of blue. The whole canvas was covered with paint. Okay, And now I'm just kind of creating the lay of the land. I'm putting some distant indications of trees in, just some distant ones. And uh, they're farther back so they don't have to be perfect. And just taking a fan brush and tapping down from the top. You want to have a lot of paint on these though because when you make these, it helps to have a full brush, you know, your your brush full of paint. Putting some larger trees in now. Still using the fan brush. Fan brush is great for pine trees. Just kind of tap it in there and make whatever. Uh, you can start in the middle or start at the top. Uh, I think it's easier to start at the middle and go down, and then you can come back up, and then you won't ever get out of control. Okay, I'm adding some highlights on the tree. Just taking some dirty white and blue. Make it look like some snow, maybe. I'm adding some more highlights, some more snow now. And I think I wasn't getting as much on there as I wanted, so I come in with a palette knife now. And you can cover anything with a palette knife. I'm just making some snowy, and we still got the shadows in there, the blue. Now I'm kind of detailing out the bottom of the mountain a little, making it look a little better. Maybe some distant trees below it. Going good. And I'm kind of making a little more, a little more definition at the bottom. Coming back in with the palette knife, throwing in some snow, and just having fun. And this is easy. Okay, make a little trail down there. I don't think I did in this one. I'm adding a little white colors into the trees for some trunks and stuff. All palette knife, so easy. If you get too much trunk, just come back through and cover it up with dark or light. It helps to have a brush with light color and one with dark color on it if you have several. And I'm just pulling up using several different brushes or knives and brushes. I'm going to make one more. This is a skinny tree. I just kind of wanted to throw one more in there. I'm kind of a pine tree. 
tap a little white on there for some shadows or some some um, snow and then pull down a little more highlights more highlights a little dark you can go back and forth and work them until you feel comfortable with it i'm signing it and it's done so thanks for watching i appreciate all the support have a great day